Some remains have been found in such bizarre looking states that they've been presumed aliens, or the missing link, or even vampires. It just goes to show that life leaves its imprint upon the dead just as it does the living. And these five examples are strange and sometimes tragic testament to that. The Atacama Alien Back in 2003, when archaeologists were digging in Chile's Atacama Desert, they came across something incredibly baffling. A strange 15 centimetre skeleton. Its features, although resembling that of a human, showed some dramatic differences. The skeleton had an elongated skull and just 10 ribs on either side. Conspiracy theorists at the time went wild, suggesting a missing link or maybe even proof of alien life. However, the remains were deemed by scientists as being human and DNA initially indicated, maybe even more strangely, that the remains belong to a child aged between six and eight years old. No one is exactly sure as to how old the skeleton is, however research suggests that it is at least a few decades old. More recently, scientists in California have extracted DNA from the mummified skeleton's bones and have managed to piece together the tragic tale behind the remains. Rather than a visitor from another world, the remains appear to be far more likely that of a baby girl who will have been stillborn. This was due to mutations that led to her misshapen body. This was the remains of a little girl shown to have major mutations in seven genes that are known to cause skeletal malformations and accelerate their development. This would account for the abnormal ribs and skull shape and also the dating of her bones to be between the age of six and eight incorrectly. What begun as a strange tale about aliens or the missing link was actually a human tragedy in which a woman had a stillborn disabled child which then passed away. It was then passed around as some sort of alien artifact for 40 years before her true story came to light. The child has a fascinating genetic story from which we may learn something that could go on to help thousands of other people. And may she rest in peace at last. Vampire Skeletons Buried in the town of Kamian Pomorski in Poland lies the skeletal remains bearing all the hallmarks of a bloodsucker burial. The skeleton was uncovered in a grave near a church in 2014. It was near an ancient Polish cemetery and he had probably been laid to rest in the 16th century. The skeleton was found to have an iron stake driven through its legs and a rock in its mouth, both of which are common in ancient vampire burials. People who are accused of being vampires would have been buried with iron stakes pinning their limbs to the earth so they could not resurrect from the dead and emerge from their graves. The stone would have been placed there to prevent the vampire from biting or sucking the blood of any unsuspecting victims. Vampire burials like this were fairly common in medieval Europe. Historians believe this is due to mass hysteria caused by outbreaks of deadly diseases. Diseases such as tuberculosis would have swept through villages and towns, killing people in their sleep. Another side effect was bleeding mouths, which added to the deaths could be the cause of the vampire fear. The vampire fear was very real to people at the time with many ancient civilizations living in fear. The remains shown in this video are now on display in a museum in Poland as part of a vampire exhibit. The Castrated Skeleton The skeleton of famous 19th century mezzo-soprano Gaspar Pacciotti, who lived between 1740 and 1821, gives an interesting insight into life at the time. Pacciarotti was castrated before his 12th birthday to preserve his singing voice.
Pacciarotti was six foot three and his long leg bones are typical of the castrati. This is because of delayed fusion, which affects the development of the hip bones in particular. Pacciarotti debuted when he was just 19 in the Theatre de Nobile in Perugia. He played a female role. In 1765, he was assumed into the St. Mark's Choir in Venice, and he was singing in Innsbruck on the marriage of Peter Leopold of Hansburg-Lorraine and the Infanta Maria Luisa of Spain. Just one year later, Pacciarotti was to debut in theatre in Venice as an opera singer and member of the choir. His success brought him in the most famous theatres around Italy. This is exceptional, given that on examination of the bones, it was found that Pacciarotti suffered, as many castrati did, of osteoporosis. He exhibited several fractures in his lumbar spine and low bone density in his arms and legs. The Crazy Beast It is not every day that an entirely new species is discovered. However, that's exactly what happened recently, as researchers discovered the oldest complete mammal fossil from the southern hemisphere and it puzzled researchers with its mismatched body, strange skull holes, and teeth that had never been seen before. The strange fossil was reported on April the 29th, 2020, in the journal Nature. This mammal is believed to have lived alongside the dinosaurs on the southern supercontinent of Gowanda. Its discovery has been dubbed the Crazy Beast. The fossil is from northwest Madagascar and dates back 66 million years to the end of the Crustaceous period. Madagascar was an already an island at that time, as it had drifted away from Africa by 88 million years. The animals that remained on the island at this time were known to be completely bizarre. Knowing what we know now about the skeletal anatomy of all living and extinct mammals, it's very hard to imagine how a mammal like the crazy beast could have evolved, as it bends and breaks a lot of the traditional rules of science. Looking at the picture, it would be easy to link the mammal to a run-of-the-mill badger, however that link is only skin deep. Below the surface, the skeleton is nothing short of outlandish. It has a primitive snout, bones that haven't been seen for hundreds of millions of years since, holes in its face that serve as nerve passageways, bent leg bones and a very large hole to the top of its snout which has never been seen before in any living or extinct animal. The crazy beast was first thought to be related to modern day sloths and armadillos but it is now more widely believed to be part of a grand evolutionary experiment. This experiment failed and was snuffed out over 45 million years ago with the fossil remaining like a big whoopsie for us all to see. Rupkun Lake Skeletons The skeletons of Rupkun Lake were rediscovered in 1942 by Nanda Pevi Game Reserve Ranger Harry Kishan. It was particularly warm that year and he had been collecting rare plants at a 16,000 foot elevation. He may have been the most recent person to discover them, but there are reports of these skeletons dating back as far as the late 9th century. When first discovered, British police feared the bones were a hidden Japanese invasion troop, but it was found that they dated back too far to, for that to be the case. These skeletons are only visible during a one-month period when the ice melts just enough to reveal their tragic fate. On the site, many other artefacts were discovered, such as iron spearheads, leather slippers, rings and wooden artefacts. A team was sent to retrieve about 30 of the skeletons and it was found some even still had their flesh attached. Researchers primarily believe the remains belong to a large group of pilgrims who perished in a Himalayan storm more than 1,000 years ago. But more recent investigation has actually raised more questions than answers. 
The new results show that there were 23 people with South Asian ancestry at Rupkund, but they died during one or several events between the 7th and 10th century AD. Even more puzzling, the Rupkund skeletons contain another group of 14 skeletons who died there some 1,000 years later, likely in a single event. The remains have been tested and it is shown that none of them are related and scientists have absolutely no idea why groups of people 1,000 years apart met their death at this site. The strangeness of Rupkund Lake even unnerves professionals. In the 1950s, one explorer described the site as a ghastly scene that made us catch our breath. The people's cause of death has remained elusive over the years. It is not likely to be battle-related, as the remains are of both sexes and no weaponry or signs of violence have been found. The victims also appeared to be in good health when they died. One more recent theory is that they were pelted from above in a freak apocalyptic style hailstorm. But what do you think could have brought these people to Rupkund Lake and ultimately to their death? If this content is something you would like to see more of in the future, please like and subscribe.